Hi guys, um, let's continue with intermediate algorithm scripting. So um, I think today we will do smallest common multiple. We need to find the smallest common multiple of the provided parameters that can be evenly divided by both as well as by all sequential numbers in the range between these parameters. So the range will be an array of only two numbers that will not necessarily be in numerical order. For example, given 1 and 3, find the smallest common multiple of both 1 and 3 that is also evenly divisible by all numbers between 1 and 3. Okay, so the answer here would be 6. 1, 5 should return 60. Okay, um, I think the best way to do this, um, again, is to create a helper function. I'm going to create a helper function which just computes the smallest common multiple of two numbers. Okay, I'm going to make this a helper function function compute SCM and this one takes two numbers num1, num2. Now, what we want is that uh, we want to know which number is the largest. Okay, because uh, we might give number one so we don't have to give the numbers in order to this function, so we need to do something inside the function to get the largest. So I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to make sure that a is math.min uh, and I'm going to give uh, num1 and num2 as argument. So this is a, a function in JavaScript to get the minimum of two numbers. And I'm going to do b, I'm going to be math.max of num1 and num2. Okay, so now we are sure to have a the smallest and b the largest number. Now, to get the smallest common uh, multiple of uh, the two numbers, we can do something like this. We can, this is the easiest for me, we can start with b, which is the largest number of the two, and we start uh, computing multiples of b starting 1b, 2 times b, 3 times b, until uh, we get a number that it is also a multiple of a. And if we cannot find, we'll go, we need to go only to a and b, so we need to go only uh, a iterations to find it at maximum. But somewhere in the middle, we might find some number, uh, for example, 3b, which might be a multiple of a as well. Let's write the code. I think that would make it more clear. So I'm going to make a for loop. And I'm going to create a variable m, which is be the will be the multiple. And I'm going to start it at b. Okay. Now, I want m to be smaller than or equal to a and b because a and b will be, of course, a multiple of both a and b, so that is, uh, that, that is sure, of course, but we want to find if there is something smaller than a times b. Okay, and now we want to increase m, not by 1, but b. So we want to uh, get 1b, 2b, 3b, so I'm going to do m is going to be plus equals b, which means that m is equal to m plus b. So in each iteration we add 1b. Okay, and I'm going to make the shortened version of this. Okay, let's go through the loop. What this does now, uh, what we want to do is we want to check if this number m is also a multiple of a. So I'm going to check if this is equal to 0. Okay, m modulo a. And if it is, then we have found the multiple. We just return m. Okay, I think that's it. So with this way, we will make sure to find the multiple of a and b, the, the smallest common multiple. Let's try this function. The console.log here, and I'm going to call compute scm, and I'm going to give, for example, 2 and 5. And it gives 10, of course, that's correct. 2 and 10 gives 10. 2 and 25 gives 50. 5 and 25 gives 25. Okay. 12 and 25 gives 300. Okay, this seems to be working fine. 
So we have a function to compute the multiple of two numbers. But now we want to compute the smallest common multiple, not of two numbers, but an array of numbers, starting from a number until another. Okay, so um, this array again will be we will have an array of only two numbers, so 1 and 5, but we don't know which one is the smallest. So again, inside here, I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to make sure I have a number x, b, math, dot, min, and I'm going to give this, the, use the spread operator for the array. And I'm going to use y, b, math, dot, max, Okay, so now we are sure to have x is the smallest and y is the largest. And we can start the array from x until y by incrementing by 1. Okay, now let's remove this return. What we want to do is to... Uh, let's, let's declare an SCM here. And I'm going to uh, start this SCM with a value of 1 to initialize it. Now I want to create a for loop that i be equal to x. And I'm going to make sure it is smaller than or equal to y and i++. plus plus. Okay, so we go through all the numbers. Now what we want is we want to always compute the smallest common uh, multiple between the two numbers, between i and the SCM we already have. So SCM will be compute SCM and we give SCM which we previously had an i. Okay, so in each iteration uh, we will get the SCM of, of the... Uh, of the two numbers. And when we finish iterating, when we go through from i x until i y, I think we should have uh, the smallest common multiple of the all, of all the numbers, even the ones in between. Okay? Let's try this. Maybe I am missing something here, but let's try. It. Okay. Let's do the console log. Okay, 1 and 5 should be 60. Yep, it's working. Let's try with uh, 2 and 10. 2 and 10 is... Yep, okay, it's working fine. So, uh, remember that SCM is always getting computed and we are using the last SCM version. So, when we do the SCM of the first two numbers, uh, then we do uh, this SEM with the third number and then with the fourth number and we make sure we always have the smallest common multiple of all the numbers we have seen so far. Let's run the tests. Yeah, perfect. Okay, okay guys, that's it for this video. Um, we will continue in the next one with uh, this drop it exercise. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.